Welcome back to the channel. Give me three minutes and I'll show you how the government is stealing your money. This is a war that should have never happened. It's a war that Russians tried repeatedly to settle on terms that were very, very beneficial to Ukraine and us. The major thing they wanted was for us to keep NATO out of the Ukraine. The big military contractors want to add new countries to NATO all the time. Why? Because then that country has to conform its military purchases to NATO weapon specifications, which means certain companies, Northrop North Grumman, Raytheon, General Dynamics, Boeing, and Lockheed, get a trapped market. In March of 2022, we committed $113 billion. Just to give you an example, we could have built a home for almost every homeless person in this country. We then committed another $24 billion since then, two months ago, and now President Biden's asking for another $60 billion. But the big, big expenses are going to come after the war, when we have to rebuild you all the things that we destroyed. Mitch McConnell was asked, can we really afford to spend $113 billion to Ukraine? He said, don't worry. It's not really going to Ukraine. It is it's going, going to, to American defense manufacturers. So he just admitted it's a money laundering scheme. And who do you think owns every one of those companies? Yeah, BlackRock. So Tim Scott, during the Republican debate, said, don't worry. It's not a gift to Ukraine. It's a loan. So raise your hand if you think that that loan is ever getting paid back. Yeah, of course it's not. So why do they call it a loan? Because if they call it a loan, they can impose loan conditions. And what are the loan conditions that we impose on? Number one, an extreme austerity program, so that if you're poor in Ukraine, you're going to be poor forever. Number two, most important, Ukraine has to put all of its government-owned assets up for sale to multinational corporations including all of its agricultural land, the biggest single asset in Europe, in Ukraine. There's been a thousand years of war fought over that land. It's the richest farmland in the world. It's the breadbasket of Europe. 500,000 kids almost, Ukrainians have died to keep that land as part of Ukraine. They almost certainly didn't know about this loan condition. They've already sold 30% of it. The buyers were DuPont, Cargill and Monsanto. Who do you think owns all of those companies? Yeah, BlackRock. And then in December, President Biden gave out the contract to rebuild Ukraine. And who do you think got that contract? BlackRock. So they're doing this right in front of us. They don't even care that we know anymore because they know that they can get away with it. And how do they know that? Because they have a strategy. And that strategy is an old, old strategy, which is they keep us at war with each other. They keep us hating on each other. They keep the Republicans and Democrats fighting each other, black against white, and all these divisions that they sow.